Feral Daryl plays. Join my Roblox group, the Cedar Crew, today to be an official Cedar Crew member. Hello, everyone. It is the Feral Daryl that plays, and today we are playing more Trader in Roblox. In this video, I will be teaching you how to get tons of coins in this game, Trader. So. I am still not the best player in this game, but to me, there are some excellent strategies to get more and more coins to eventually buy more pets and weapon crates. This tutorial is not a very foolproof tutorial, not many steps like there is in my Overlook Bay or Adopt Me tutorials. This is based on personal strategy in the game. This is all strategy. Nothing here is step by step. So, how it's going to work, you get the most coins, first off, just by playing the game. This road right here, this season pass, is the best way to get coins. Just keep getting more and more XP to eventually get more and more coins, because that season pass is so overpowered. Okay, let's keep going. So, I'm going to explain myself before we play too many games, or one game. So, how it's going to work. When you're in the game, you have a coin bag depending on your level. So right now, I'm not sure what mine is. Mine's either 10 or 15. When you first get in the game, find as many coins as you can. But I would focus on tasks. So the coin method is method one. Method two is doing as many tasks as you can. And then by the end of the game, the middle game, the mid game, and the end game, of this game, when there's less people, there's a lot more coins, like tons and tons of coins spawn. So that is a perfect opportunity to fill your pockets with coins until your pockets are full. So I would do that, but first I would do all the tasks that you can. But if you're a trader, I would not focus on coins at all. Focus on killing people, focus on winning the game. You'll get tons and tons of coins just by winning the game and killing multiple people in Trader. It is the best way to get coins, so please focus on winning if you're a Trader. Okay, as a civilian, let's go. So I'm going to flick the light switch first or do any tasks that I can find really quick first. Let's see who gets this one. I did, okay, good. So we're going to do as many tasks as we can and collect coins on the way. Like there are coins right in between many of the tasks, so therefore I collect the coins. I'm going to fix this computer so that I get more coins, because every task you do as a citizen, you get a certain number of coins at the end of the game. So I do as many tasks as I can, and I collect coins on the way to get tasks. If you win, I'm pretty sure you get a huge bonus as well. But I don't want to die too early because then I won't get enough coins to fill my pockets and I won't do enough tasks to get bonus coins at the end. See right now, there's a bunch of coins on the road. Any coins I'll pass and don't get, my rat will get behind me. So this is perfect way. I'm heading to my next task. I'm not quite sure where one is, but I am looking for tasks. There's one right here. See, walking around is the best way because you get coins from on the road, on the path, and then you can do tasks to get more coins. So this computer is on. Okay, it's fixed. So we're going to go downstairs to see if there's more tasks. And also, if we look on the bottom left of our screen, our season pass is full. Once we get to the next level in the season pass, open up the season pass because that is the best way to get coins, as I described earlier. It is truly the best way. You get it real fast, so do it like that. So, my season pass is full. I'm going to collect it in a minute after this game. But before then, oh, it's a dead body. Okay, we're going to keep playing. So, we got maximum coins now. So, now we don't need to worry about that. And I'm sure most of the tasks, if not all of the tasks, are done already. It's going to be very rare this late in the game to see a task that's not completed. So I'm going to keep running around trying to dodge the knives getting thrown and try not to die. 
See, look, almost every task, this task as well, every task is done this late in the game. So your goal as a citizen is just to walk around and not get killed, like I'm about to. Not getting killed gets you a bonus if your team ends up winning. I just got to survive another minute and a half, and then I can get a victory. And a victory comes with more and more rewards, more coins, which is exactly what we want. So this is the same guy that was in Poster's last video. How does this guy keep finding me? This guy, I don't know if you saw, he was the trader almost every game last video. How is he trader again? Well, that's odd, but I'm probably going to die because I don't have a gun to shoot him with. And there's no one to save me, so I probably will die. Extraction ends in one minute, so I only have a minute to hide here. Oh, there's a gun right there. Ooh, should I risk it? Once he goes closer to me, okay, I'm running, trying to get the gun. Will he kill me first? That's a question. Yeah, he killed me before I could shoot him. So I was the last person left, so that means we lose. Let's go to the next game. Game two. Okay, I am a civilian, so I'm going to do the exact same method that I used last game. Do as many tasks as I can, and on the way to getting, to going towards tasks, get coins on the path. I don't know if you'll notice, but later in the game of the last game, there were a lot more coins than there are right now. If you look on the ground right now, there's one coin, two coins I can see in this room. That's it. Later on in the game, there's like eight coins just in that one room. There's coins everywhere. So there is a task right here. I got to flip that light switch. And it was a person dead. So that means the trader is close because that person is dead. And it's so early in the game as well. So I'm going to do, okay, that person's doing the task. So I'm going to find more and more tasks and collect coins on my way. So also, I would like to ask y'all, what kind of game should I play on my channel? Should I keep playing Overlook Bay and Adopt Me? Should I do more trader videos? Or should I try something new? If I try something new, comment what game you would like me to play. I know there's a game called Epic Mini Games that I have been wanting to play on this channel before. I am not bad at that game. I have played it before with my friends and my family. So I have experience with the game and it seems like fun. So I probably will play that in the future on this channel. So yeah, there's the breaker right there. I got to take this tool to the breaker. And okay, there it is. Fixed breaker. And there you go. One out of three pieces are fixed. I get 10 experience and 10 coins. That is perfect. See, every task you do gives you X amount of coins. It gives you a certain amount of coins. Where at the end of the game, you could collect those coins and eventually trade them in for new pets or for other items. So, I found the code earlier. 7, 9, 3. There you go. There's a code. I got 15 coins for that 15 experience. And there's another 5 coins and 5 more experience. Every time I do a task, I get more experience on my season pass, which leads to more coins, and I get more coins per task. This is impossible. This guy is the trader again. How? I don't get how he's always trader. Jakey Reiki 12 EY again. This is like the eighth match in a row where he's the trader and that he's beat me again. This is crazy. How is he always a trader? That is so strange. Huh. Okay. So I'm going to spin the wheel. This is a good way to get more coins every 15 minutes. Okay. Final game. In the final explanation, we are in this last map again. I think it is called Orbital Bay, I think. So I'm going to do the tasks that I can. Oh, no, I'm not doing tasks. I'm the trader. All right, I'll, my goal is to kill the Elmo guy first again because he's always trader. Therefore, he always kills me because I'm not that good at this game yet. Okay, so I'm going to continue to chase him around. Hopefully, I could get him. There's a guy in the computer right there. Maybe I could kill him. But I don't know. This seems just like the match from last video. Where it's all the same people. Because we're because we're all friends. And we all play together. But I'm not sure how. That guy's always the traitor. So, let's see. 
I get coins every kill I make, and so far I've not made any kills, so I don't have any coins. I have picked up one coin so far, and my rat hasn't picked up any. Come on, rat, you can do better. So that guy's smart. He's still doing tasks while he's running away. That's the way you should be doing it. So, oh, come on, I need to kill him. I'm not good at this game. I'm not good as the trader, but I'm also not good at anything else. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, so I got to find more and more people to kill. I lost the guy that I was chasing a minute ago. How did that happen? There's a girl on the computer who I can kill now that my cooldown is over. Okay, there you go. 15 coins for me for killing her. Okay, there's another guy. There's the same guy as earlier. Hopefully I can get him and get all these coins on the way to killing him. Because that is how you get tons and tons of coins. So I'm, I'm getting farther and farther apart from him. I'm not doing good at my parkour today. But I'm still going to try my best and get him before the time runs up. Ah, he keeps getting right by me. That stinks. But okay, let's keep going. Hopefully we can kill him for the final kill of the game. Actually, no, there's a few more people left. Okay, so he had the gun. That's great. Who's that guy? I think that's the other trader. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm going to continue to explore and get more coins on the way. So, the more coins I get, the better I get at the game. The more special things I get, and the more pets I get as well. Because I want to get enough pets to give some back to you guys. So, right here. My pockets are full, but I still see coins because my rat needs coins still. My rat hasn't filled his bag yet. So he is still picking up the coins, but I cannot pick up the coins anymore. Okay, now his backpack is full, so all coins disappear to me. I'm going to continue to kill people so I can continue to get more and more coins. But I would like to tell y'all right now, thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel as I am a growing channel that is looking forward to this year of 2021. If you did not know, I started this YouTube channel on December 24th, 2020. So it has barely been a month. Actually, it has not been a month yet. But by the time this video comes out, it will be a month since I started this YouTube channel. And I would like to make progress every single month to become a better and better YouTuber and have my channel become better and better. So give me suggestions, any kind of suggestions of anything that you want in the comment section below. Also, please hit the like button so you can tell other people to watch the video because that's how it works in YouTube. And then, please hit the notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. And click the subscribe button, of course. And tell your friends to subscribe as well. I will be having a huge giveaway in Adopt Me and Overlook Bay once I hit 50 subscribers. So please tell your friends to subscribe to my channel. Even if you can't, watching is good. But ask your parents, ask your friends to subscribe and tell them to subscribe as well. So, thank you so much for watching. This has been the Feral Daryl That Plays. Goodbye.